Hey guys, Kill 4 here. Before I start, this is a new program I'm using to record my screen, not my games. Usually I use Fraps for my games, so this is a new program. If I mess up, um, I apologize in advance. So anyway, what I wanted to explain today was how I use my Kill 4 stamp in the corner of my videos. It's kind of a neat thing. It kind of protects your videos. If someone was to download your video, they'd have to severely crop it, uh... Uh, not to have the Natokill for a stamp inside the video, and that would basically ruin any use of the video. So I do it not as much for um, looks, but as protection of my videos. And this is how I do it. So first, um, I will explain in another video how I make the stamp. It's kind of complicated, kind of not. Eh, it's kind of medium difficulty, I would say. So... Um, here I am in Sony Vegas. I'll explain how I made the stamp in another video. But what I did was after I made the stamp, it takes about 15 seconds. And then I, the maximum length of any video I'll ever put out is going to be about 15 minutes. I can't see me um, talking for more than 15 minutes. That would be impossible right now. So anyway, I took e I took one of the video segments, the entire length, and I just stacked them up. And... I didn't mean for it to go this way, but it's pretty smooth. You can't tell any glitch in the um, the stamp if you watch my videos. So anyway, I took them, lined them up, and if you watch, uh, a little glitchy, um, the entire length of the video is about 15 seconds, and I stacked them up to be uh, 15 minutes worth, and then it will just seamlessly transition into the next. Actually, if that's what I did. Okay, so I put a little bit of. Um, fade in, fade out, uh, overlap the videos a little to make it smoother. You can't see it from out here. That's that's why it confused me. I was watching my own video. Like, wow, that, that was smooth. How did I do, do that? And then I remembered I overlapped them a little. Ooh, really glitchy now. Anyway, um, and so I rendered that as one complete five-minute video. Okay. Close, please. Thank you. Okay, and then this is a video that I just put out a little bit ago um, of me shooting myself with bow and arrows but anyway then you would go to whatever project you're working on and you would click and drag uh, your finished 15 minute minute video and uh, or however long you want to make it and it creates an audio track though you will never use it um, and so then what I would normally what you would think you would do is just change the layering and you would put it to screen but for those that aren't too keen on video editing especially in Sony Vegas you cannot have it on the bottom because they're just masks and so you gotta move it up top and I set the uh, masking to screen that's what's worked for me I you do dodge that's pretty psychedelic I mean I'll, I'll turn up the quality that actually looks pretty neat Whoa. Psychedelic, dude. <laughs> well, anyway, I turn it to the screen to get the original quality out. And then you're going to want to find some point in the video where your stamp is in its full phase. And you can see the entire stamp. Then you're going to want to go to track motion. And you're going to make it smaller. Now I've done this dozens of times, so I know exactly where it should be um, and how should you should do it also as a little tip don't put it up if you're using something in the bottom right hand corner or you have a mini map there from a different game don't put it down there put it in the empty spot so I'm gonna move it over here make it a little smaller um, just don't try to clutter, clutter your screen too much with my music videos I I kinda uh, work to make it look not so cluttered and more professional uh, same here. So I'm going to make it small, and I'm going to say that's it. And then you want to move your track motion point, because that was just a motion tracker. You're going to want to move that to the beginning, maybe a second after. And then if you fade in the video, you're not even going to notice that millisecond between the initial position and your fade in. So if you were to start the video, it would be like this. Hey guys, Kill 4 here. 
And this is a kind of fading in a little too fast. So short video. Um, I'm I'll go into Sony Vegas a little more. You can change the way it fades in uh, by right clicking on that little um, that blue line, and you can change different styles of uh, fades. So I'm going to choose this one because I want it to take as long as possible to get into the video. Hey guys, Nettlekill4 here, and this is a. Unfortunately, I screwed up, and I did not record enough Minecraft, so that is why there's that little blank spot right there. Otherwise, this would have flowed uh, perfectly. The stamp would have... You can see it in the bottom ha right-hand corner right there. It would have flowed perfectly with the um, game, but I did not rec record enough Minecraft to be synchronized with my dubbed-over audio. So, other than that, that is how you use the stamp. And then, I'm not sure how fluid this is going to be, but we can try to watch it a little. Made it easy on me to make this video. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I, don't know I wanted to talk about what I'm doing right now. So well this program, um, I'm shooting time. myself with uh, bow and arrows. And anyway, it's I don't extremely know. glitchy. It's kind of funny. But you can, <laughs> no real point. you can tell what happens, and if you've watched my videos, you know what happens. Uh, so that's how you do it. Then you just finish it off. You see it lasts 15 minutes, but you only need two of those. So you make it smaller, you fade out however you want it to fade out. Personally, that's my favorite fade, actually. So, um, it'll go the rest of the video, and I hope this helped. Um, I'll probably be putting out the making of the stamp soon, so you guys can try to copy it, try to do whatever you want, make your own special changes to it. But I hope this helped. Um, that'll kill for out. How do I stop this?